So I woke up one morning, had my coffee, watched the sunrise, and listened to all the seagulls and egrets and cranes and frigates fly around the Key West Bight Marina and welcoming me to this brand new day. But as the little molecules of caffeine penetrate that blood-brain barrier, and the sleepy fog starts to dissipate from my consciousness, that little pang of anxiety started to sneak in. I've got this beautiful charter boat and two captains to run it. The problem is, we don't have any customers. The solution? Let's make some flyers and pass them out so people know we're here and we're open for business. It's time to change the reputation of Restless NATO from an Airbnb and turn this into an actual charter business. Where's the highest concentration of people who want to go have a party on a boat? Where's the biggest party in Key West? Dante's. So Dante's has an amazing vibe. It's an outdoor bar and restaurant with a big giant pool and a 15 foot waterfall. They've got inexpensive food, cheap drinks, and lots of college kids. Spring break. They've got the golden glow. It looks like they want to get their party on and they're sitting in a pool, standing under a waterfall, while I've got a boat. Let's see if we can't go fishing in this watering hole and see if we can't land us a couple of clients. I can't explain it, but some people are just born for adventure. They hear the calling and they're compelled to get off the couch and see what's around the corner or over that horizon. I'm going on this quest to prove that the heart of history's greatest explorers and adventurers is alive and well today. This is your invitation to escape from reality. What screams Key West Vacation more than a party on a boat? Nothing. And I have just a boat. So we start passing out some flyers and making some friends and we become very popular very fast. Look, they're gonna redirect and come right to us. I've heard all about this magical place near Key West called the Dolphin Playground. Now this is an area right near Key West where about 250 non-migratory resident dolphins call their home, mostly for breeding purposes. So this dolphin playground is the area where babies come from. And because the dolphin tour boats around Key West visit this area so frequently, they become very social with the boats. So they come right up and play with us. This is gonna be a staple in my charter tour business. Now being in Key West, it's a wonderful area right between the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean. And we have a lot of mariners come through here, including some of my YouTube idols. This is Bobby White. He's got one of the most famous YouTube sailing channels in the world. It's called Sailing Doodles. Here's something I didn't anticipate. It seems that every guest comes on board Aria, they look at the rooftop and ask if they can jump off the top. So I figured, sure. It's a little bit more of a drop-in than you might think.
Your support is putting wind in our sails so that we can share these adventures with you. Well, guess what? If you go up to a bunch of people and say, hey, I've got a boat, want a party? Well, that sounds like a great idea at the time. Until they say yes. Result? Drunk hot chicks climbing all over the boat and breaking things. So I started thinking to myself, am I running a strip club or a charter boat? So not to sound incredibly cliche, but I'm starting to become a caricature of myself. So here's this guy, buys a yacht, and fills it up with a whole bunch of hot, drunk girls in bikinis that are half his age. I see the appeal, but I'm looking at the big picture here. I'm not trying to find Mrs. Wright, or even Mrs. Wright now. I'm trying to build a business, and I'm not sure this is exactly the recipe. It has been said that yacht ownership is boat maintenance in exotic locations. Hey, yo, cuz, you gonna vomit the bathroom downstairs. And as we started to get some clients, we realized they're never gonna treat your boat like you do. I'm all up for the party, but you know what's the buzz kill? A broken boat. Would you like me to prepare some more hors d'oeuvres for the guests, sir? Huh? I think I'm going to have to rethink my marketing plan. Get the f out! Keep watching and see how this all works out. Hit subscribe so you don't miss what happens next. Escape from reality.